Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh, and on this channel, we do discuss the simple and sometimes the complicated when it comes to owning a Jeep. Today, I want to talk about the oil cooler on the 3.6 liter Panastar. Now, as most of you know, we just replaced our oil cooler on my wife's Jeep just a couple of months ago, which started bringing up a lot of comments and a lot of questions. Now, since the Panastar V6 is probably the most common engine that Chrysler used across their model line, this is something that everybody at one point in time is probably going to have to deal with. So, I've got some really cool info from you, and I found a really cool product that is going to help make this an even easier and less expensive job. So, you know what? Stick around. I think you're going to enjoy this. Alright guys, so like I mentioned, today we're going to talk about the engine oil cooler or oil filter housing as some people call it, that comes on the Panastar V6. Now, there is an inherent design flaw in this, which is why most of us are going to have to deal with the problem of replacing it as time goes on. That design flaw is in the construction. Of course, just like any auto manufacturer, they always go with the lowest bidder and for whatever reason felt it necessary to use so much plastic when it comes to designing things. So here's how this works. Your engine oil filter sits right inside here. This whole thing has multiple channels and multiple tubes for the oil to flow through. This aluminum guy, this is the actual oil cooler. This whole unit sits underneath the intake on the 3.6. Again, for most of you that saw the video where we replaced it, it's not exactly the easiest thing to get to, but it is completely doable. Here's the design flaw. It's plastic. Now, if anybody thinks about the actual chemistry that happens under a hot environment, is plastic and aluminum expand and contract but they don't expand and contract at the same rate. In fact, plastic tends to flex and move a whole lot more. So the gaskets that go in here that actually seal everything to prevent the oil from leaking are rubber. So now we're mixing an aluminum uh, oil cooler, a plastic housing on an aluminum block with rubber gaskets. Now when you put those kind of materials together, inherently something is going to give out so what we end up doing is we end up pulling this out you could either get an upgraded gasket kit and simply fix the one you have you can pick those up at just about any parts store for 20 bucks and then put it all back together and hope that it doesn't leak now the downside is is that if the plastic itself has become brittle or has expanded too far even brand new gaskets won't necessarily seal this guy. Now, like I said, this is the one that came out of my wife's Jeep. I got it all cleaned up for the purpose of the video. How do we solve the inherent design flaw? Well, there are a couple of companies, uh, including Dorman, that make a replacement oil cooler assembly that is all aluminum. However, they're extremely difficult to find. When we went to replace my wife's in her JK, we could not source an all aluminum rate, uh, oil cooler, no matter how hard we tried. Um, and the ones that I did find were so stupid expensive, it really wasn't worth it. But thanks to Marco and having a connection with Jeep, I was able to get a factory replacement at very little cost. However, things have changed since then. I got contacted by a company that's and they now offer an all aluminum assembly to replace the plastic assembly with. And the best part is it actually comes with the gaskets that you would need to take the intake off and the gaskets you need in order to seal the oil cooler itself. Now, a lot of people may think, well, what's the difference? Well, the biggest difference is the material. Aluminum cooler, aluminum housing, aluminum shafts going up against your aluminum block. Now, when it expands and contracts, everything is going to work in unison. 
Um, the rubber that they used for the gaskets and the seals are actually an upgraded rubber as well that will expand and contract with the aluminum so it prevents it from leaking again in the future. Now, side by side, when you look at these, these are all but identical units. They did an amazing job at casting it in aluminum versus plastic. Now, it is significantly heavier than the plastic one, which I'm sure was a concern when Chrysler was designing it to begin with. However, I am fairly confident that if you were to install this over the plastic one, it would be the last time and the only time you'd ever actually have to do it. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description down below this video. You are going to be shocked at the cost of this versus sourcing an actual factory replacement. In fact, when you do that, put it in the comments down below. I'd be interested to see that your opinion. Last time I bought one of these direct from Mopar, goodness, it was about 250 bucks because it is a vital unit. So seriously, click on the link, check this one out. It's gonna shock you at what they are selling this for and they have a full inventory. So you're gonna be able to get it for your Jeep. Now, couple of things to notate. You notice that on the back of the oil cooler assembly, there are a series of sensors. I have actually noticed in the many years of doing this that they are different depending upon which model you have, be it a Jeep, a Chrysler, or a Dodge that you are trying to replace. So be sure to put the year, make, and model in so you can get the cooler that actually matches your vehicle, comes with the correct number of sensors and the correct plugs for your sensors. You don't want to go through all that effort of taking it all apart and come to find out you've got the wrong one. But like I said, this is something that Chrysler probably should have done from the very beginning. However, we can fix it now and solve your oil leak issue from the 3.6. So listen, folks, if you have any questions about the oil cooler on the 3.6, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll do the best I can to try to help you out. But like I said, it is something that just about everybody who owns this motor in any of their Dodge Chrysler or Jeep products is going to have to deal with at some point in its life. So if you're going to fix it, why not fix it right? So this way you never have to deal with it again. So there you have it, folks. Simple, easy, and inexpensive. Click the link. I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed. Once again, my name is Josh and this is Jeeping for Beginners. If you have any questions, put it in the comments down below or otherwise, we will see you next time. Don't click away just yet, I'm not done. That all aluminum oil cooler that I just showed you in this video, I want to give it away for free. I mean it. At the moment, I don't need it. And it should go to a good home for somebody who's trying to solve the oil leak issue in the 3.6. This particular one is set up for a 14 to 17 Jeep JK Wrangler. And if that is what you need, I'm gonna make it real simple. You have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to put a comment down below this video saying, I need it with your year make and model. Shortly, I'm gonna pick a winner and I'm gonna send it directly to you at no charge. How cool is that? That is just a way of us saying thank you for supporting Jeeping for Beginners. And guess what? We'll see you next time.